When it was dry, I painted the lines in, trying to get the angles looking right so that they gave the case form. Hi, it's Anna Mason, and I'm going to show you in this mini class how I painted this pretty Fasalis fruit with its glossy edible berry and papery outer case. Let's take a look here at how to achieve the papery effects. I worked from a reference photo and made my outline drawing at a larger than life size to capture all the detail. Then began painting with a watery yellow brown layer to the papery case. Next, I painted the shadow and the berry so that the darker parts of the painting were in place. Using a tiny brush, I mixed a fairly watery greyish brown that contained yellow ochre, some Payne's grey and some quinacridone violet so it didn't go too green. I applied it into the darkest areas of the papery case, applying the mix anywhere this hue and tone or darker, leaving gaps to the dry pale layer of paint underneath where the colour is lighter. With a more yellow and slightly paler mix, I did the same into the lighter parts of the paper case, leaving the gaps in the right sorts of places and at the right sorts of angles meant that I started to achieve the pattern to the case. As it dried, I used a slightly bigger brush to apply another layer of it as a glaze over the top of much of the case, where I could now see that the lighter layer underneath was too pale in contrast to the darker colour. I applied another layer of this to any areas that needed subtle darkening, leaving gaps to create the effect of slightly lighter veins in some places. Whilst that dried, I darkened the shadow. I mixed a darker brown mix and used my tiniest brush to apply the dark paint. I needed the paper to be dry. It wasn't, so I had to be patient and wait. You can also use a hairdryer. When it was dry, I painted the lines in, trying to get the angles looking right so that they gave the case form, and adjusting how watery my mix was to match how dark the lines were. I left little gaps to the left of the line on the edge of the case here, which really helped make it pop out against the shadow behind. With those dry, I went back over a few areas with a pale yellow-brown mix so that the contrast levels looked right. With all this darkening up done, I could see that I now needed to darken the darkest areas some more. I began by applying in the very darkest sections at the bottom, which also threw the berry forward, which was fun. Having those dark details in then allowed me to see how much darker I could take the darker areas within the papery case, so I applied another layer of watery grey paint to those now. Then I darkened the lighter areas a touch more. I then darkened the shadow and bury some more before going back to the case and adding even more detail in the form of extra lines, as well as darkening up some more in a few places with mixes of grey and also mixes of the yellow-brown colour. The paint was never very thick, so I could make quite subtle adjustments. I then darkened up the very bottom again and the shadow again before finishing the final details to the papery case. A full video class of this Fasalis is available now in my online school, where members have been getting fantastic results. If you've enjoyed this mini class, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, then hop on over to animasonart.com where you can take a full length video class for free and find a whole heap of resources to help you capture the beauty of nature on your paper. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.